Nancy Patey of theinspiredoffice.com. I'm coming you to, to I'm coming to you today from a client's office, and I want to share with you a system that I've done time and time again that we recreated today, actually in the last couple of days, couple of visits actually, and that is just the miracle that can be worked with these simple plastic file boxes. Below this video, I'm going to link to a place where you can order these yourself. So in this case. This desk used to be covered with paper, and it wasn't just this desk, but there was paper under the desk, there was paper in her bag, there was paper in other rooms, paper in the dining room. So this here is the result of many, many hours spent wrangling those papers and really creating um, a movable, mobile, super accessible system for her. So if you think about it, hours and hours of time have resulted in these two boxes, and I'm gonna share with you what's in them, how she's gonna use them, and why we only have two. So the reason we have two is because this client, much like many of my clients and perhaps like you, isn't really a file cabinet kind of person. She's out of sight, out of mind, which is perfectly normal. So I'm not gonna force her to use a filing cabinet. We wanna come up with alternatives so that if she's out of sight, out of mind, what she needs to access and pull from and add to every day is perfectly visible. And these boxes are the best way I know how to do it. So first of all, the folders that we've used for the most part actually in this project box are plastic. They are translucent plastic. They are not manila, they are not paper, they are not opaque. So what that tells her when things pile up and folders come out is that when she finds a plastic folder, it's filed in this box and nowhere else in the office or home. So I'll start with this box, and this is just called desktop to-do. So many of you have a to-do pile, to-do folders, to-do stashes. You may have an inbox that's overflowing, but I really prefer these boxes because you see everything lined up. So for example, she has things just to do at her computer. Um, she reconciles statements with banking. This just says to reconcile. Um, <clears throat> medical bills to pay, budgeting, um, doctor's appointments, so on and so forth, certain phone calls she needs to make for unresolved issues. I've used erasable file folder labels too because these are not permanent files, they're projects, they're always changing. So this way she'll be able to um, kind of morph her system as her needs grow and change. She can just erase the labels reuse the plastic file, and that always stays here. Now, this one is a little bit different. It's called 2014 tax files. So basically, anything that she needs to um, file that's date specific, like um, tax files, deductions, bank statements, credit cards, goes here. Um, <clears throat> she still hasn't done previous year taxes, so we still have 2013 here as well. But to give you an example, this, it, you can pretty much do a mirror image of at home for the most part. I've done a system almost identical to this in so many clients' offices, so I'm gonna give it to you here. Um, basically, we have 2014 business expenses, 2014 medical expenses paid, 2014 charity deductions, 2014 tax documents. And then we have credit card statements such as Discover Card 2014, Amex Card 2014, Visa Card 2014. And um, that is largely it. In the back we have some other um, medical files pertaining to an ongoing issue. But long story short, I think it's really important to date any folder that is date specific, go ahead and put the year on it. Otherwise, years pass and then a banking file has five years worth of paper in it. And it's really important for folders that you add to every week or every month to be visible, to be at eye level and not hidden away in a file cabinet or file drawer. So hopefully these boxes give you some ideas of alternatives to the traditional filing system or filing cabinet. Filing cabinets are not for everybody, and these are some of the best ways I know to create a very um, mobile, flexible, 
filing system that works for you if you're also out of sight, out of mind. So again, this is Casey Patey of the Inspired Office. I organize offices. I live and work in the DC, Maryland, Virginia area. I also travel. I'm actually doing this video from a client's home in Montgomery, Alabama. And if you want to work with me long distance over Skype, we can also set up a virtual organizing session. Thank you so much, and I hope to talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.